Good morning all to all my friends and family. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. I am, oh, I just dropped off the kids and I am heading to Costco this very, very early morning. And the reason is because we tried the Kirkland brand diapers on the baby and they gave her a chemical burn. Um, she has burns on the creases of like her diaper where, what a way to start a morning guys. Hello, I am Lorelei. If you are new here, I am a mommy of four wonderful children, ages 16, 14, 12, and a one year old. Um, I, I do believe in posting whatever I feel like posting, and I am me, and I try not to be something that I am not. Um, so welcome to my channel. Like and subscribe. I'm going to try and do a lot more cooking videos, but I am headed right now to Costco, as I said, to exchange those diapers. Um, she has very sensitive skin. I have heard of the Costco diapers giving babies... Um, the Kirkland brand, I guess it is, chemical burns before in the past, and she has only used Huggies diapers, but there was more in the box, and she's older, and I figured, okay, you know, people say things, but let's give them a try. No, nah, uh, pump my brakes, because it is very, very bad. Uh, we've used creams, we've used ointments, we have used powders, we've used cornstarch like your grandma taught you, uh, we've used everything. Um, it gave her blisters. So, it, I, it, this is my opinion, you do not have to follow my opinion, but in my opinion, I would steer clear of them because as I said before, this is not the first time I have heard of something like this happening with these diapers. I love Costco. I love everything about their Costco products, but this is one thing that I will stay away from. Is there any of you guys that leave me in the comments below? Have any of you guys tried them for your kids, grandkids, anything? Um, yeah, let me know in the bottom. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to exchange them and I'm going to get pull-ups because I've been kind of trying to potty train. So I think I'm going to go with just pull-ups this time because um, we have undies and I'm going to buy some rubber underpants for her. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to run and I'm going to do that and then we will see what other goodies I find. I do want to go to Big Lots. Um, I got my Christmas tree put up. I'm going to do a Christmas decorate with me video. Um, and so I will be posting that and we're also going to have some yummy snacks to go with it. I haven't been posting a lot this week and the reason for that is because we did have, um, somebody in our family pass away, uh, so on Halloween and we wanted to be as supportive as, if, as we possibly could. So that was my reasoning for that. But we cannot wait um, to get back into regular routine and we are going to start right now. So I know I look horrible, but again, you guys know I'm not here to impress you. I'm just here to be real and be me. So let's get this day started, guys. All right. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Costco. And then I will show you guys what I got from Big Lots. Um, I got some coffee creamers. This is the French vanilla ones. Baby wipes. Um, I needed new scissors. All my scissors messed up. So if the kids touch these ones, they are in trouble. This was 10 bucks for a three pack. Um, paper plates. Yes, we use them. Get over it. Uh, I got some more of these milks. I told you guys that I was going to need some more. So I got some more pull ups because potty training, bath tissues, and some milk. And then we got this rug. Um, 
and we needed a new rug for the living room. We got stuff kind of moved around. I'm gonna mop in between and then we'll move the ottoman back, but we needed another rug to put down right here. Oh, my finger looked like it was missing, look. <laughs> um, we needed a new rug to put down right there, so I went ahead and we have that new rug. Um, I also got the boys their, all right, so the boys for Christmas, they always get Christmas PJs. So this year I got the boys these black, very plush Christmassy ones, very, very soft. Um, I got myself a Grinch Christmas sweater. I got Izzy a Grinch Christmas sweater. And then I got the baby a Grinch Christmas sweater. So I'm super excited about that. This is for my laundry soap that I'm going to show you guys what I make. I got some shower curtains. I'm trying to do this fast, guys. We have a, a football game to go to. Shower curtain for my room. This is the print. Super, super pretty. I got one for the kids' room. These were $10.99 each. Comes with the shower curtain and then the hooks. Then, sorry, I got a runny nose. Um, The rug to match right there. And then this one is for my room. That one with this. So that is all we got. All right, that's all we got. I gotta hurry. I gotta get this done. And then I sent the boys to storage so that way they can get our stadium chairs. And yes, then we're gonna go and we're gonna make dinner. So I'll see you when it's time to make dinner. Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. I hope everybody's Monday started out wonderful. I am getting started on some dinner here. I'm just going to prepare my yeast so that way I can feed it. Um, I set everything in the microwave to heat up and then I am just scooping in some instant dry yeast. And then once that is heated up, I'm going to add it into my bowl. Ugh, that pesky fly. Um, and then I'm gonna let it sit there and let it um, do its thing. Then I'm gonna cut up everything that needs to be cut up so this recipe does not call for veggies inside of it but of course I did want to add a couple extra veggies um, so I went ahead and I chose broccoli and um, I chose carrots and I thought those would be the two easiest things to go into. It does call for the onion however uh, so I did go ahead and I did cut up the onion and you just want to do it in kind of like little, you know, dices, um, nothing special. If you guys hear the baby in the background, guys, bear with me. I do have a baby and she's going to scream. So that's life. Just get over it. If you can't handle it, uh, mute your phone or however you do it. But I'm just going to start preparing all of this. And then it calls for chicken breast, but I like that uh, chicken thighs have more flavor in my opinion. So... And this is what I had on hand anyways. So I just went ahead and I used chicken thighs. Um, with this recipe, I am uh, doubling it. We had a couple of the neighbors come over just, you know, just to come and hang out. So I wanted to make sure that I made some dinner for them to be able to eat something that was easy. Uh, okay, so as you see, my yeast has risen and I'm going to add my flour in here and... These uh, muffins, I guess, not muffins, but these rolls are incredible and they do rise super, super much. So you are going to see, yeah, my dust snow shower that I gave myself. <laughs> um, but do you see how it's like skipping its way through? I need to figure out a way that I don't have my mixer jump around me on, like that because it just goes everywhere all the time. But um, I am feeding it the flour now and then you want it to be sticky but not like wet sticky. So I'm gonna grease the inside of my pan and you can do any size pan you want and put as many as you want in there. I just loaded mine up because like I said, I had a lot of people coming over, uh, you know, and I wanted to make sure that I got it all in there and that way they can all rise together. 
Um, you do somewhat want to make them all the same size. So you just put it in your hand and you kind of roll it into a ball and then pinch the bottom of it and kind of tuck it under and then you put the tucked under side down. So that way um, it doesn't kind of like inflate everywhere, I guess you can say. But you just want to make sure that you do get them in there. And if the speeding up is bothering you guys, let me know. I can switch this out. It's not a big deal. I can, you know, adjust the speed. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys how I um, make my dinner rolls. Uh, this recipe is super, super easy and I will include it um, at the end of this video along with the other recipe. Now the other recipe I did get out of my Julia cookbook. Um, I got a new cookbook and I'm super excited to try a lot of her recipes out of here. Um, I'm actually, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm kind of flipping through the pages right now as I'm talking to you. But she has like, it says 100 plus recipes from her home to ours. And it's Julia Pacheco that's here on um you know, YouTube. But as you can see, I'm adding in all my seasonings. I'm getting that. I did add extra seasonings in mine um, to give it a little bit more uh, pop and pizzazz. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the chicken. I'm gonna cook the chicken thighs in this mixture for a while. It did color my oil. You do not have to do not have to add as much as I did. Um, I think one. I think it was the paprika that. Um, kind of dumped a little more than I expected out of it but I'm just getting this all cooked in and you know grilled up make sure it's all done nice and good and then you know showing you guys here I'm just gonna give it a little stir do you guys like to do you prefer to use chicken thighs or chicken breasts um I use both but chicken thighs for certain meals do hold more flavor um then I threw in the broccoli and I'm just gonna kind of saute that and then I'm gonna throw in the carrots not all the carrots just like a handful of them as as I had said before this the vegetables are optional she does not add that in her recipe I added in mine so that way it's a little bit more hidden veggies for the kids um, and because sometimes when you put veggies on the side you know kids will pick at it and they won't eat their veggies so I figured if they take a spoonful of this then you know it's a little bit extra so I added in my I ah, just had a cough attack. <laughs> um, I did in a dub adding the vegetable broth in and then I added in my rice. This is the time you want to add it in and then you are going to let it simmer. So while that is simmering, I'm going to put in my rolls in the oven so that way they can cook. Don't come for me for my oven. Yes, it's dirty, but guys, I have been so busy lately. I have not had the opportunity. Um, my food has been cooking on the stove for some time now, so I just went ahead and added in my creamer. I'm not my creamer, my heavy cream and my parmesan. Um, yes, I know I say that funny, but you know, that's who I am. <laughs> I tasted it and and then I, you know, made sure that it was okay. And all I did was turn it off and put the lid on. I did put a couple tabs of butter on top of the dinner rolls so that it could melt in the oven um, and give it a nice buttery um, coating. So that way when I pulled them out, I can kind of go ahead and spread that around. And as you can see, like I said, these puff up so much. So next time, I don't think I'll add so many to this one pan, but I did this because we had a lot of people here eating and I wanted to make sure that they were all done at the same time. Um, and I really didn't feel like washing more dishes, but I just went ahead and I spread the melted butter around. Um, I also like to add sometimes honey on top of my rolls that gives it a little sweetness after you butter them. Um, you can do a little mixture before you butter them and then just butter it all together. And, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to brush this on and get these nice and shiny and 
I added a couple more tabs of butter so that way that can melt on top. I did wash my hands, um, but I was just hoping that this would melt in time. And then I sprinkled um, a little bit extra salt over the top of the rolls um, just to give it a little more pizzazz. Do you guys like yours super salty, not salty? Do you like them with salted butter? What is your favorite? Um, I think I'm more of a, a mutual type. I like it either way. Um, once this was melted, I did end up spreading it around and it kind of fell through the cracks of the uh, rolls, which I was okay with, but it does kind of give it a little doughy texture once you do that. So be careful because my kids were like, mom, it's not done. I'm like, no, it's done. They just, it's melted butter. Oh, okay, so I'm going to pull off a piece so that way you guys can see how fluffy and delicious these dinner rolls were. Oh my goodness, guys. I pulled it out when it was still hot, so it kind of broke apart. <laughs> um, it was super hot. I was like burning my fingers, but look at how fluffy those are super delicious and fluffy um i was like hey you know one for the chef while i'm cooking might as well i washed my hands and everything uh <laughs> but i was like i'm just gonna take a couple pieces off the top you know I'm, oh wait look here's an extra one let me take that one too <laughs> but and those were all nice and done and buttery and um i took my portion and then i think i sprinkled a little bit more salt on top because i was like okay for my tasting and there it is i paired it with a side salad and did some avocados and cucumbers and it's a caesar salad so it was absolutely delicious and topped it with a little bit more parmesan cheese